Hi there, Leo. Thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 18th of August. Now, the sun is going to be with you up until Thursday, and then it's going to disappear for 11 months. So it is going to be important to try to make use of it in this last nearly full week. Of course, you still have Jupiter with you for pretty well the next year, and Venus is alongside Jupiter for the first half of this week. So when it comes to feeling good about yourself or alluring and just feeling very attractive, that influence is really going to be topped up to the maximum across the first three days of this week. But ironically, there's a more tricky aspect which runs concurrent to this, and that is an opposition between Mercury and Neptune, which could cause a certain amount of confusion when it comes to your financial situation. If you are thinking about making any hard and fast decisions, my advice to you would be to leave it right to the end of this week and perhaps early into next week when there is a new moon in this part of your horoscope. But there's also another important influence which occurs in the second half of this week. Mars has, of course, recently moved into the sign of Scorpio. And now it connects with Saturn, which has been in this area for the last couple of years. And for you, this is all about home. It's all about your emotions, about family life. And there may have been some struggles around those areas for you during that time. Now, just in a practical sense, you may have been making some improvements or renovations. On the other hand, perhaps you've been learning more about what makes you tick as a human being or perhaps there have been issues around your family life and responsibilities or limitations may have been part of this. Now that Mars goes alongside Saturn there could be a real sense of frustration if any of the things that you've been encountering during this last couple of years really come up to the fore again. There may be part of you that just wants to smash these obstacles out the way and perhaps you can through sheer willpower but the chances are you are going to still need to have tact and patience. There is a, a saying by the old French philosopher Jean de La Fontaine that patience and the passage of time do more than strength and fury. And that may be something that you want to remember this week, particularly when Venus goes into a square with these two planets in the latter part of this week. So although there may be part of you that does feel good about how you're looking and any issue to do with attractiveness, there may be something at a more emotional level which is blocking you or inhibiting you. It could be someone in the family who's quite critical or your situation may be quite tense in terms of where you live. You may not quite have the situation where you can really flourish as an individual. But the sun moves on Friday into the sign of Virgo, joining up with Mercury. And this can help you to start to sort things out a little bit. First of all, in a practical sense, when it comes to those finances which may be hazy in the first part of the week, you can be much more determined to get to the facts of a situation and really check the details in a way which can protect you. But secondly, this is a position of the sun which can help to increase our sense of self-belief and self-esteem. And if yours has taken a little bit of a pounding towards the back end of this week, work over the weekend to sort these issues out because the new moon that I mentioned earlier is going to appear right at the start of next week and that gives you an opportunity to really bounce back. But the transition for you is that a lot of ideas have been created of late. There's been lots of possibilities. Perhaps you felt uh, there's been more than one person who's been interested in you, but you're now going to start to find out as this week ends and the new one begins of what is really for real. It's been a pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.